Canadian mailman here. Been very busy at work. Haven't been able to get out lately. But last night I was able to get out with the Bear Creek Arsenal 243 upper. We got this to deer hunt with it during the day. Hunter is taking the ATN Excite 4K out 3 to 14 for deer during the day. I'm going to take it out for coyotes and hogs at night. I got it on the Palmetto State Armory lower that I had sitting around. And I also put on the Predator Tactics Coyote Reaper XXL, the IR light, lighting them up. Last night I went to the first field and because I hit it right off the bat about 8 to 10 big sows were out in the field. And I hit it early so I wanted to try something. When I'm with Hunter, Hunter normally runs the X site and I run the Bino X from ATN, the binoculars that record. And I will have the Binox and he will have the X site and we'll move in on the group and try and get a shot so that we can get two pieces of footage. Well last night I pulled in there. I thought that I had a lot of time. I had plenty of time. The hogs had just come out of the woods. So I set up right at the gate and the first piece of video you're going to have is either going to be the X-Site or the, the Binox from ATN. I'm going to put both of those on there. The wood line was 278 yards. The hogs are about 227, 225 right in there. I wanted to move closer. I have the 3x14 right now and I don't want to take farther shots with the 3x14. I can and I think it's capable of it, but when I get my 5x20 back on the 243 here shortly, we're going to start to take longer shots as I range them with the binoculars, like I said. The thing I like about that combination is I can range with the binocs and it comes right up in the X sight. It tells you the yardage. So, first place I'm hitting about 228. I move up a little bit. The hogs are moving toward me slowly. I'm creeping out to them. It's a full moon, but there's a lot of cloud cover, so I can move in on them. I get to 150. There's a little bit of a hill, and it's absorbing most of my IR. I want to try and move a little bit closer to get better footage, and I move into about 118 yards. There's still a rise in between myself and the hogs, so you're going to see the hill lights up a little bit better than the hogs do, but in the combination of running both, I'm getting on both, I'm recording. Whenever I did finally take the shot, I did not push record on the X site, but I had to record on the Binox. So whenever you see the kill shot, it's going to be out of the Binox. And I dropped that pig right there with the 243, put it right there where it needed to be, dropped that hog. The other ones took off. I didn't even take any more shots. I don't want to be tracking hogs all night. I had other properties to hit too, so we're going to jump right to the good stuff. Going to see much more of this 243. We are going to put the 5x20 on top of it, the X sight, and you're going to start to see some farther shots. Once I get the bullet that we really like out of it and it shoots good out of it, we're going to start seeing some 200, maybe possibly up to 300 yard shots with this. And we're going to see if Hunter can pull off those longer shots. I know he wants to. I got a trigger coming. It's already on its way, so we're going to make it a little bit longer range of shooting with the 243. Let's jump to that footage, and thanks for watching.